Uh, it's all CSS. Ever dreamt of making your competitors quit their jobs and become wombat farmers? Dream no more. God! I'm going to try a technique today that lets you create insane projects that attract attention, bring new clients, kill competition, <laughs> and all of that just from literally a blank Google Doc. Grandfather Kamasutra, Jesus. And you could do that too, and you didn't know that you could. Hi here, Philip there. It's the new series where I explore how to make stuff that stands out and remind myself and also you what Think Different really means. Let's go. Think Different Jobs. Tim. <clears throat> So I needed to make a mental website and all I had was a blank Google Doc in front of me. It was also in front of a naked Michael Douglas, but, but that's... <clears throat> Where do you start? What should you make? This is an unusual task. Usually you already know what to build, whether it's a client brief asking you to build a website for their brand of body positive underwear made out of ship sails, or a brilliant idea for a new project came to you through natural causes, when you saw a striking woman on the streets of London and realized that the world needs Tinder for ugly people. But how do you make something out of something that's completely nothing? What should I make? Thing is, it doesn't matter what you make. It matters what you make it. You can safely pick the first thing you see or make something you feel like making. In my case, Margaret Thatcher, addressed as Karl Marx, came to me in a drunken dream and ordered me to make a clock. Ah, uh, uh, no, that's... And ordered me to make a clock. I also might have seen examples of people making various clocks and getting millions of views, but you, you never know, they could have achieved it through sex. So now that I knew what to make, I needed to come up with an insane award-winning idea of how to make it. Where do you get such an idea? idea? Instantaneous and unstoppable. In short, you need to ask a detailed and specific question that would make your brain focus on searching for an answer, causing an instantaneous and unstoppable ideas flow. In my first video here I talk in detail about how this technique works and how to make up a question that works. What is a clock with personality? Walter White. I am the one who clocks. Gus Fring. Jesse Pinkman. 1230B. You can pick its personality. I... Grandfather Twister. The clock that is alive. The clock that is a Conway's game of life. I... Anyway, now I needed to pick an idea to build, and I knew right away which one. The most insane, elaborate, and the impossible one. And I will tell you what it is in a second, but first, there was something else there. Something that I had no idea how it would play out, and something that I could make really quickly right in this video. This was a clock that is a Conway game of life. The Conway game of life is a zero-player game created by mathematician John Horton Conway. Zero-player means it doesn't need players to be played. The game is played on a grid where each cell can be either alive or dead. It evolves over time based on simple rules. A live cell with two or three life neighbors survives. A dead cell with three life neighbors becomes alive. And all other cells die or remain dead. Looks like a digital life form. The game needs the initial pattern as the input from which the generations start. You can draw that pattern by hand. But what if this pattern is the current time, hours, minutes and seconds? And I had absolutely no idea how it would play out. First, I needed to build the original game of life in JavaScript. Good thing I'm so talented. Oops! A quick test showed that numbers might disappear too quickly, making the clock not legible. So I thought maybe that could be solved by making the grid much bigger and finer, and numbers much fatter. And now to test it, all I needed to do was to patiently draw a big fat digit on it and see what happened. Fuck that! I had to make the cells display the current time automatically anyway, so I thought I'd do that. How do you make the game of life cells display the current time every second? Very easy. It's a digital display creation 101 which I was confident would go 9-11 on me. <clears throat> but I went ahead anyway. My Conway game of life, which is not mine, is nothing more but a, a table with 90 rows and 300 columns. And every cell in this table is basically a pixel. This table is nothing more than a low resolution display. So how do you display the clock on that display? Very easy. In the code, every pixel on our display is represented by a number. If the pixel is white, the number is 0. And if the pixel is black, the number is 1. Here is a quick example of how it works works on the TV, which I borrowed from Vladimir, a subscriber who is a mole. He is naturally blind, so he doesn't need the TV. It's a tiny TV display that's only 5 pixels wide and 4 pixels tall. An image is nothing more than a set of zeros and ones. So all I needed to do was to get the set of zeros and ones representing each digit in our clock and then feed it to the code. But where do you find the set of numbers that represents each digit in the clock? Very easy. You draw each of them in an online app that can convert pixel drawings to numbers. And oh, fuck 
like that. I needed something quicker. A vision. A picture in my head. An HTML5 canvas element. It will display the current time. And then every second the script would convert this canvas element into an image containing of pixels. I read each image and determine if the pixel is black or white. Converting it to either 1 or 0 accordingly. And finally, feeding it to the game of live display. Great Scott. This was a great plan, but as much as I loved coding every detail, I did not have time for it this time. Good thing I am so talented. cool thing is, it's all CSS. In all honesty, I was actually really surprised it worked almost on the first go. It also left me with a really strange feeling, which I don't think I've ever experienced in my dev career before. Using ChatGPT to code the main parts of the thing, and not coding it myself, almost made me think that I'm not a developer. Instead, I was some sort of an uh, odd director. It might be that this is what future of the dev feels like. I then added settings so that anyone can adjust all these parameters too and change the grid size, number size and position, font, cells color and shape, background color, regeneration frequency, clock frequency, and I also made the settings controls touch friendly. If you get a cheap tablet and load the website on it full screen in something like Google Chrome, this thing actually becomes a physical customizable clock you can put in the interior. And it could make a good gift for someone who loves math, web dev, microbes, biology, life, John Horton Conway game of life, John Horton Conway himself, or me. Thank you all very much for watching, liked if you liked it, don't forget to look up and see you soon.